Good morning, this is Hiker Dude Dad. I don't have that much more time before our huge European vacation. And in spite of breaking my toe eight days ago, I needed to get out into the woods. I needed to drive to Maryland. I needed to find some water. I needed to make some videos. We're at Susquehanna State Park. Let's go. Welcome to Maryland. I've been down here at Susquehanna State Park before, and it's not to be confused with the Susquehanna State Park in Pennsylvania, which is in Williamsport, or Susquehanna Riverlands State Park, which is in York County. This Susquehanna State Park is a Maryland park. Right now I'm on the awesomely shaded, huge, huge tree uh, ridge trail as part of the Deer Creek Shoreline Loop. We'll only be along Deer Creek for a little bit, but we will be along the Susquehanna River for a good chunk of the hike. I've been here before, so a little bit of that might look familiar, but um, I'm not gonna overlap that much. I got distracted when I was filming my last little bit there because I saw all this shiny rainbow colored stuff here. It's a bunch of mylar balloons that are just never going to biodegrade. I would try and cut them down, but it's on a slope. It's, it's at least 20, 25 feet off the ground. Unfortunately, they're stuck there for a little while. Take care of your stuff, people. The trees here, and I am not good at identification, so maybe somebody could take a look at this bark and just the sheer size of this tree and tell me what it is but this is canvas see the top above the canopy there it is absolutely huge the ridge trail here is surrounded by these huge trees it is shaded it's june 28th it's a very cool morning the temperature is in the low 60s here which is way different than what we've been experiencing uh which was a streak of uh about a week in the 90s, so this is very welcome, very refreshing. So that breeze coming through the treetops there. It has been so darn hot for the past 10 or 11 days. This is such a great day to come out. I'm glad it worked out that this was my day before the trip that I could come out. It's been super dry for the last week as well. Got a little like stone bridge here. I'm sure this stream bed's usually flowing. Not so much today. The trail, very spider webby as well. I think with the weather, it's been a while since people have come through here. So we're only gonna get about 300 feet of elevation on this trail. So it was pretty much at the beginning. We kind of did the climb. Now we're going down this rock boulder field, basically uh, down to the Susquehanna River. I'm gonna make some coffee down there, I think. It's still pretty early. So the York County side, we have merged with the uh, Mason-Dixon Trail. So we're off the Ridge Trail, taking the Mason-Dixon Trail down. And I think that's what we'll stick with all along the Susquehanna River as we make our way north. 
Yeah, with all those rocks we just encountered when we went onto this trail, I should have figured it was the Mason-Dixon. Love that trail. We came down to a little parking lot here at Stafford Road. I want to do just a little bit of a road walk, but uh, yeah, just over here is going to be the Susquehanna River. Here's Deer Creek. All right, so we will be on this for a little bit and then we'll cross at the bridge that we have crossed before and then make our way north of where we had been the last time I was here. Okay, trying to steeply go down there and not fall off the bank into Deer Creek. Large creek down here in Maryland. I know it flows through Rock State Park. Yeah, we'll eventually go on this bridge, on the bridge over there. It's a little peninsula between uh, Susquehanna and Deer Creek, which we'll walk up that way out on the river. All right, so crossing the trestle bridge now over Deer Creek. And out to the Susquehanna. Lots of exposed rocks there. Pretty low. We have not had a lot of rain. So there's the bridge, the current bridge. There used to be a three-span towpath bridge here where barges would come down Deer Creek and then join up in Tidewater Canal and go down to Haver de Grace. Right around here, matter of fact, Timbers that are visible at low water, stone abutments. This is where the dam, there was a dam that went across here just to control the amount of water in Deer Creek so that the barges could get to the Tidewater Canal and be pulled across the three span uh, towpath by the mules. Oh, I've been here on this little peninsula before it's absolutely beautiful there's a nice breeze take a little break here along the river ah oh, this is wonderful so back along the mason dixon trail susquehanna river off to the right here a lot of little paths down to the water and we find a oh this might be the one so find a nice beach and make some coffee I think nice breeze out here driftwood my son ah phenomenal all kinds of seashells here in these uh, tidal pools along the river keeping my eyes open for anything crawling around. Now, hiker dude dad, you say, we're on a freshwater river, miles from the Chesapeake. Well, I have seen crab remains up this far in the past. If you check out my previous video, so keeping my eyes open.
other than hearing two people walk by on the trail who probably didn't even know I was down here. Not bad having a private beach to yourself. Cheers. Okay, well, all of a sudden an hour flew by while I was just uh, relaxing on my own private beach there with my coffee and just enjoying the breeze and the nice weather. Susquehanna State Park here in Maryland is awesome. This place, the two times that I've come here, I was in that mood of mine where I need a hike but I also want to be near water. And this has that little mini, mini Acadia kind of vibe where you're in a forest one second and on the water the next. It is just, uh, this is a great park. It is well maintained and it is just absolutely super. And it's always got what I need <laughs> when I need it. So again, you're on the trail here and then all of a sudden, just a little few steps away and the sun comes out right on cue, but you're on a little private beach. Oh, this place is amazing. For as rocky as the Mason-Dixon Trail was when we first got on it, it is a smooth, flat path. Very little elevation, very easy on the broken toe. And that's the story of the Mason-Dixon Trail. <laughs> sometimes it is absolutely brutal and sometimes it is a breeze. Just came out of the woods again and there's this big just tidal marsh kind of area with these small plants. There's a seagull maybe? Could be. Close to the Chesapeake Bay. Way in the distance, you can see towers from uh, Conowingo Dam. So we're just south of Conowingo Dam, but just north of the I-95 bridge. All right, so at the north end, we looped up here, back onto this kind of old railroad track thing, and then we're gonna cross this bridge. Shouldn't be too far till we're back at the parking lot. Squirrel! <clears throat> squirrel! 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 Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There you are. I think you're hiding on that side of the rail. Seriously. <laughs> oh man. I get bored at the end of hikes. Anyway, um, <laughs> should be walking along Deer Creek soon, um, north of where we were before. So we'll uh, check in when we get there if, uh, if that squirrel doesn't get his buddies. So the part of the trail here that I thought was going to be, you know, all Deer Creek, it, it is right there. It's just a wall of uh, foliage, but you know, it's the end of June. Everything's at its peak. It's a thick wall of foliage though, on this creek side trail, keeping us from the creek. We are gonna cross it up here though. All right, so right before you cross the bridge is the Stafford Flint Furnace. It is uh, restricted, keep out, but we've got this big towering furnace that was used to make china back in the day. And the sign said that this is all the remains of the town of Stafford. So possibly a, a ghost town situation here. Might be, might even be some other ruins around, but uh, put the little info board in here. And then in the background, you can see the Stafford Road Bridge. There's a dude up there on the bridge. We'll walk across that in a second here, but the park, this entrance of the park was closed uh, for a year or two uh, while they replaced that bridge. So it's nice new looking stone and everything. Uh, I drove over that to get in here. When I visited the park before, this was closed. I had to drive down to the Lapidum uh, entrance at the southern end of the park and walk north to uh, the grist mill and everything like that. So we'll go across that bridge now. So before that bridge, you come to this other footbridge that's uh, blocked off at both ends. Looks like it had some uh, 
damage to it. Maybe some sinkhole action here. Maybe some erosion. Uh, looks like, I think I read about this, you can get across on the stones down there, go up the other side, but it's really steep right here. This kind of seems like a jump. On a normal day I would have handled that, but not with the uh, broken toe right now. Um, I just didn't want to land funny. Going down there, I think I could have done it, but vacation's coming up, I'm not risking it. And I saw this side path here that's going to lead me up to the road. And I'll just cross the good bridge, so... Here's a little tributary to Deer Creek. I think this is called Buck Run, maybe, on the map. I'll put it down here for sure. Once I figure it out, a nice little... I drove past this earlier, didn't even realize it was here. Alright, crossing the good bridge. Alright, the bright, sparkling, white new bridge. This was a pleasure to drive across earlier. The stone and Deer Creek raging below. Oh, there's the back side of the furnace over there, which I also didn't see when I drove across here, so... Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful area, beautiful park. Alright, so we're back at the Deer Creek parking area. Coming out of the woods. Hike is over. What an extraordinary place. I love Susquehanna State Park. This place is amazing. If you want to see more amazing places like this, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. Thank you for coming along. I am going deeper into Maryland at this point to try and get another hike in. Then I'm going to wreck some crab cakes. Thank you for watching. Cheers.